Okay, so we're here tonight in the almighty Gastete Ziele in Göppingen, southern Germany. And uh, the gu tonight's guest is uh, Stacey Savage from Savage Master. And welcome back to Göppingen, Stacey. How are you? And uh, could you please uh, inter in make a short introduction of your band and uh, who you are? What kind of music do you play? And uh, yeah, um, the story of your band. Okay. A little bit. Well, thanks for being here too. Uh, we're glad to be back here in Göppingen with the, at Zill. Um, it's been a few years since we've been here. So it's great to be back. Um, we started in 2013 and it was me and Adam came up with the concept of, you know, like the hooded henchmen and the kind of like I'm controlling them, kind of like the movie Black Sunday by Mario Bava. So that was kind of our initial idea. Um, and uh, that's, I guess that's basically it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I remember you have been here uh, already uh, 2018. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I think so. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't attend last time, unfortunately, but uh, I saw you uh, at the Hall of Hamburg. Oh, yeah. In Hamburg, yes. That was uh, a great time, too. Yeah, it was the same tour, I remember. It was the, like March or February uh, 2018. And uh, what memories do you have from your last concert here in the Zille and from Hell of a Hammer book too? And second question, uh, which, which kind of concerts you prefer? Like uh, small clubs like the Zille or bigger venues like it was in the, at the Hell of a Hammer book? Well, uh, there's a good and bad to both, you know. Uh, it's really cool to be, you know, like playing in front of a lot of people on a big stage, but it's also cool to have an intimate interaction with the fans and I know when I see a band, it's cool when you can see them up close, you know, instead of just far away on a big stage. So, but, you know, there's good and bad with both. It just, you know, it's and, both kind of fun. And I, I think here in the mm. Zilla, the atmosphere is always quite special because I've attended a lot of it's concerts here. It's a special here. place. Yeah, uh, I've attended lots of concerts here also from uh, international bands, uh, like just like you, and it was... Uh, always a great time you really feel the atmosphere and the sweat and the, yes yeah yeah like, <laughs> like it was in the 80s i mean i've never lived in the 80s unfortunately but uh, if i think about the 80s uh, this is why what what's in my imagination it's do a, you do you agree I, I mean i can't i also can't say that but uh it's a great energy everybody's very excited i mean it you know they they pack it in and you know, everybody's really into it, and they're glad to be there. So that's great, a great atmosphere. Thing. So oh yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It will be great tonight. I'll tell you, <laughs> definitely <I'm>, sweaty. <laughs> I will, we will sweat a lot. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> we will sweat a lot, of course. <laughs> so but that's what um, makes it fun. <laughs> sure, sure, it will be fun indeed. And uh, question from from woman to woman. Uh, how do you think that the metal scene, the figure of the of the the role of the woman in the metal scene, has developed in the last year? I mean, I don't know when when did you start when you started singing? Uh, were there uh, as many women as today, uh, or um, how has it changed in your opinion? Um, there's always been since the beginning, pretty early on, women in metal, but there's more and more as time goes on, and they get more recognition as time goes on so that's you know a good thing and there's lots of female fronted bands popping up um in recent years too so you know i do notice that too definitely and do you have any favorite bands female fronted i mean i mean not only in heavy metal i'm talking about music in general do you have any favorites or any friends or anything you want to recommend to yeah. the people who don't who don't know them maybe yes um we have friends Solicitor, that's a really good female front end battle band, kind of more thrashy, speed metal, I, I yeah. should say. They were supposed um, to play the seal in 2020. Oh, of course, oh, of of course, course it didn't. No happen. one could do that. <laughs> they can't help that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that was, yeah, that was, that took, <laughs> that was a bummer for everybody. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I lost my head. What, what we were yeah, talking. Sorry, I interrupted okay. you. No, solicitor? you're fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Solicitor. They're great. Um, they're front woman. Amy Lee Carlson is a really badass lady. She looks like a Amazonian woman, and she's mm -hmm. like a warrior, and she's very cool, and she's tough, and she's she's a really awesome vocalist. So, yes, yeah, great people and stuff. And we have played some shows with them as well. And Yeah. yeah. Hope hopefully they they'll get back. a chance to come back and play Zill. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Hopefully they can come back soon. Because yeah. I will definitely will attend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I will yeah. definitely attend their, their gig. 
And uh, yeah, we were talking about 2020. How did you spend your time in 2020? How was, which kind of year uh, has it been for you and for your band, of course? I suppose uh, since the, the last album came out last year, maybe you spent some time uh, writing the new songs. And otherwise, what did you do? Tell us. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, we recorded actually in 2021. So yes, we were writing back then. Um, and other than that, you know, it was kind of like for everybody else. It's like the rug got pulled under out from under you because we all had all these plans. And even the booking agents were like unbooking all of the shows and everything. You know, we we were going to actually uh, come to Europe. We had plans with high spirits. So, you know, of course, that got shelved and hopefully we could do that another time. And we were going to play some shows with Midnight and. So that all, you know, fell apart. <laughs> but, you know, on the other hand, you know, we we had some time to just, you know, do di different things in our lives. And move, we moved just to a different city. And, you know, so it gave us time to do that. And, you know, it, we were lucky that we didn't, you know, personally have anybody super close to us that we lost during the first, you know, in 2020. But a lot of people did. And so it's definitely a rough time for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Indeed, and you mentioned uh, High Spirits and Midnight, I heard, mm -hmm. and uh, um, yeah, since you named these this bands, I wanted to ask you uh, if you feel part of the new, uh, let's say, mm, traditional heavy metal, new wave of traditional heavy metal, let's say, do you feel part of this scene, or when did you start, at the time when you started in uh, 2013, uh, was there already this scene? Was it already that big or uh, were you planning to be part of the scene and how, how yeah, has it developed um, in this time? For us, we were, we, our main influences are like 80s bands, you know, like Acid and Warlock and Wasp and, and Judas Priest. So we, our vision was something in that vein. Um, we weren't, you know, extremely aware of many bands doing that and we kind of wanted to put our own spin on it as well to be more a little more occult than though even those bands that we mentioned and or that i mentioned and um so we were kind of trying to forge our own path or our own version of the things that we that you know get us excited um but we have noticed definitely a lot of more bands in that vein popping up and then there's this new wave of traditional heavy metal youtube channel play, full albums and, you know, they played our, our record and we're very excited about that because that's one place we go to find out about new bands. So it's mm -hmm. cool to be included in that. That's <clears throat> where I also go. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's very cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's, I think it's great too because it's based obviously on the new wave of British heavy metal. But it's cool now that it's, it's the whole world, you know, it's not just limited to one area. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's very yeah, cool. Yeah, of course, from the U.S. to <coughs> Europe. To, Anywhere, yeah, yeah. To the whole world, to South America. As long South as it's America in the style, then, yeah. Scene. It's yeah. cool, and there's so many bands on there. Indeed, yeah. indeed. <laughs> and you always discover something new, and then you, you discover by chance that these bands are playing uh, in the nearby town, in the town nearby. And yeah. Like, wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, for, for me, it was the case uh, when I discovered that some of these bands were playing here in the city. Oh, yeah. So oh. I attended all, all these gigs, great. and it was great or mm -hmm. every time i've never seen a bad concert you know, a bad gig which oh, you say great. no i was disappointed tonight no and uh, <laughs> i i'm sure that tonight is going to be another one <laughs> another uh, gig of this list yeah. i imagine every uh, show is packed because it, there's yeah. only so much room <laughs> yeah usually yes but yeah as you said with 60 people it's yeah. already packed <laughs> but that, that's that's the cool. way we like it it's cool it's a good energy it's that's very cool the way we like it indeed and uh, uh of these uh, um, bands of the of this uh, new heavy metal traditional heavy metal scene do you have any uh, best friends let's say or favorites or be bands with which you haven't toured yet but you like to tour, you would like to tour um, any of them let me think for a second back in i can't remember which month but we played a, the last hell's heroes and uh blood star played and um mm -hmm. They were a really cool band, new band, and I, you know, I started finding out about them around that time, and and I I would love to do a tour with them, and um, we're friends with Maddie, the vocalist from Bloodstar, so hopefully we can make that happen. Yeah, 
that will be nice. I will check definitely check them out because I, I've heard the name a couple of times. They're really great. Never, never and then when I saw them fly, they them. put, I mean, they had a, like a magic to them. Like it's just, it's cool. It's very enchanting and great heavy are, metal. Are they more, is it, is it more a recent band or have they yeah. already a couple yeah. of albums? Or? They're, they're, they're really new. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I will definitely check them yeah. out if you if you recommend them. Oh yeah, you definitely should. Yes, perfect, Good perfect. Stuff. And uh, regarding female fronted bands, you were talking. We were talking mm-hmm. about them a couple of minutes yeah. ago. Do you have any favorite or any uh, lady, any uh, singer that was uh, like an inspiration for you? Yes. Um, But originally, when I was like a, a young kid, I really loved like Heart. That was, you know, the classic rock band Heart. And then later I got into like Warlock and mm-hmm. Doro Pesha's singing Pesh, yes. is just amazing. So, yeah, that's that's very inspiring for me. Yes. And then like Acid. Um, I like one. Um, it's a little lesser known named Carrie that I, that I like a lot, too. Carrie. Back okay. from the 80s. Yeah. I would have said Bitch. Bitch, it's a very yeah. great as a very uh it's great Bitch inspiration. Great. Betsy's a sweetheart. Yeah. yeah, I met her a few times. She's she's awesome. Because when I when I heard I mean I, I heard first say Savage Master, after that I discovered Bitch. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> But, uh, and I, I noticed, uh, um, yeah, I, I can say they were an uh, inspiration for you, not only because of the look, but also because of the themes of the songs. I would say, uh, correct mm-hmm. me if I'm yeah, wrong. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, definitely, right? yeah. Definitely some bitch in there. But mm-hmm. yeah, but bitch is uh, yeah, indeed, very cool. indeed very, very cool. cool band. <laughs> I agree with yeah. you, yeah. And she, oh, she still got it, yeah. She still got it, yeah. really? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are, are they still playing? Um, the I'm still not playing? sure the last time they played, but I've, I saw them at Frost and Fire several years oh, okay. ago. So. Frost and Fire in yeah. California, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they, that was awesome. Very oh, good. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. 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 Frost and Fire always have a kick-ass lineup. Mm-hmm. Frost, oh, yeah. Frost yeah. and Fire and Hell's Heroes. Mm-hmm. I, I uh, read of both festivals and... I say They're both great, yes. each time I say, oh, I want to fly to the yeah. US. Just, just attend <laughs> you should festival. come sometime if you can. Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> yeah. I would love to. I mean, I've already been in the US once, but never in California. Oh, so really? it will, will be great to oh, okay. attend this yeah. kind of festival with yeah. these Kikas bands that maybe don't have the chance to come that often to yeah. Europe. And the, the last few years have been difficult for oh, everyone. Yes. Yeah, so um, the costs are rising and mm-hmm. uh, it's... Uh, Yeah, hope, uh, hopefully, hopefully it will be better. Yes, get better, I hope so, so too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you you managed to come to Europe and yes, that's already I'm, I'm very thankful. an achievement I'm glad to be for, here. for the fans, so for you. And mm-hmm. We are glad to have you here. Oh, thank course. you very much. I'm glad to be here. I'm very lucky. <laughs> and um, at the beginning of this interview, you mentioned Mario Bava. Yes. And uh, as an Italian, of course, I'm Italian. And uh, of course, when you mention like the horror of Italian horror masters, a uh, mm-hmm. place in my, they always have yeah. a place in my yeah, heart, yeah. as you can imagine. Yeah. And a couple of uh, days ago, I saw a picture of you on uh, Instagram where you were wearing a T-shirt of Dario Argento Suspiria. Yes. And uh, that's why I wanted to ask you, has uh, this... Um, Uh, this kind of horror movies been an uh, influence on your music or uh, about the horror teams? Yeah, and definitely. How did they influence your life and uh, you as a person? Um, <laughs> I love the movies because they're very artistic and visual. And for me, I, that's just something that appeals to me. And you could probably tell from our look and our stage show and everything like that. And for me, even like singing <clears throat> lyrics and things like that, it's, it's all so connected with visuals like in my head you know while I'm seeing so it, it's to me it's the same kind of thing it's a you know you you just it's hard to even put into words because it's more visual for me so yeah like all the colors and the lights they use and it, it's in symbolism it just it's it, it fits perfectly with what we do do you have any favorite Dario Gento's movie Or, uh, yeah, one, or you can mention more, as you like. Yeah, um, 
Um, I like uh, Phenomena. The one that's my the, favorite the too. That's my favorite. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I love yeah. it too with mm-hmm. Jennifer Connelly. Yes, I yes. I love it too. Uh-huh. It's, I, I have to say this this movie is metal as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. With, with Iron Maiden in the soundtrack. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, yes. Uh, oh, when yes. I saw it but for the first time, <laughs> I, I thought I died when right? I heard the flash of the blade. <laughs> it's like, what? It's so great. <laughs> it's so great. Yes. Yeah, and another film, and probably another movie, maybe you, you already know it, is Opera. From yeah, uh, oh, from Opera. Yeah. Yes. Opera. You yes, know, I love Opera. It's also uh, full of metal in the soundtrack. It is. Yes. Uh, there is. I remember there is. Um, uh, there are two songs of an Italian band called Steel Grave. Steel Grave. Uh huh. And uh, I I got to know this band through through the movie. Okay. I, I also didn't yeah. know them. Yeah. And uh, they they were. It was so great. They were so great. And I mean, this this movie is also a masterpiece. Also, yes. if, yeah, probably you agree with me. All the Dario Argento movies from the eighties. Yes. Oh yeah. One Great better stuff. than the other. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Then we we agree on <laughs> yes, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, uh, another thing I wanted to ask you: when you come to Europe, mm-hmm. what are your impressions? And what do you, is it? Anything is there, is there something you like better than in the U.S.? What are the main differences uh, uh, about the the audience and how do the people react? Or uh, in general, what are your impressions? <laughs> um, so my main impressions are in Europe um, as opposed to the U.S. Um, there's like something about. Uh, the fans, especially in Germany, are more um, specific or more, um, I'm trying to think of the best way to say, um, they just notice a lot of things. Like, for one example, if a German fan says, will you sign my record, they don't want the guy that didn't play on the record to sign it. Where in the U.S. usually they just have everybody sign it. So that's okay. one thing I noticed. <laughs> okay, that's weird. They, okay. But they know all the little, all the trivia, all the facts, everything, you know. So, I, you know, that's an interesting thing. I feel like Europe's very hospitable and welcoming. And it's, you know, it's just different I, in a way. I mean, same in, in a lot of ways because, you know, metal really unites us and, you know, music connects people and, you know, that's the best part about it. So there are a lot of similarities, but, you know, that's that's one thing I noticed difference, just the, the attention to detail, maybe. Yeah, they're yeah. More, more precise. They yes. know all the, all the background and yeah. all the background stories. Yes, and, and everything's okay. maybe more on time, too. <laughs> Except in, in the U.S., the fest have to run on a strict schedule, but the, just the club shows seem to be more punctual and on time in the Europe as well. And about the audience, I mean, when you, while you're, you are playing, uh, yeah. do the people react differently or what um, do you notice? I think so in some ways, like the, I've noticed more singing along with a lot of our newer material, um, which, you know, I was a little surprised. I wasn't sure, you know, if they would know some of these songs yet, but they, they've been singing along with, you know, like the Hangman's Tree, I wasn't quite expecting. But, you know, uh, Hunt at Night is the single released a video for. So I thought, yes, people will sing along with that. And they do in the U.S. But Hangman's Tree uh, kind of caught me by surprise. People were singing along with that. And so that would make me happy, though. I, I love that. There's nothing more fun than singing with everybody. And um, you are uh, you're from Kentucky, right? Yes. And uh, I was thinking about, uh, do I know any bands from Kentucky? I really have no idea what's going on in Kentucky, and I don't know anything about this uh, state in the U.S. I didn't grow up there, so I, I don't know that it had too much of an influence on me musically, just because I'm, I'm actually from Tennessee, but mm-hmm. it's same, you know. It's close to Kentucky. Yes, right? it is. It's a bordering state mm-hmm. of Kentucky, yeah. So... Um, so I don't know that it much had too much influence on me really, but, um, you know, we have, we do have some friends there, like in Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, Black Knife's a cool metal band we play with sometimes. And, you know, there's this, you know, like a couple bands, but not, not a whole, whole lot, not yeah. like a Chicago or something like that. Yeah, sure. I thought there was only nature <laughs> in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Trees. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, some, you know, big bands will come through and play and stuff like that. We played a show with Behemoth in Louisville, Kentucky, mm, nice. and that was a huge show, and that was very cool, and, you know, so, I mean, bands will come through, but, you know, it's, it's as far as a lot of bands don't live there. Some do, you know, but no. Mm -hmm. Uh, one last question: mm. Have you played in any new countries on, in, on this during this tour, or only in Germany? Mm. Because I I, I saw uh, the um, gigs, uh, yes. the, the dates of the tour, uh, and I I thought they they were pretty much all in Germany, right? <laughs> Most <laughs> of them are in Germany, um, with the exception we our first date was in Warsaw, Poland. Okay. That was our first Polish show. Oh, and that was great. What it, was your impression of Poland? Oh, of the people there. Did it was you like great. It? I liked it. Um, It was very cool. Um, it's, it's you know, definitely European, but it felt not too, you know, foreign to me. Like, a, you know, the some of the, I noticed, I don't think there's any stop signs, so <laughs> maybe there are, okay. but I didn't notice <laughs> that. But uh, otherwise, it just looked like, I don't know, like somewhere in the U.S. or something. <laughs> like, okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, but the fans were really great, and... Again, they were wild singing along and everything like that. And we had a better turnout than we, we expected because everybody told us they mostly care about death metal, black metal. Mm -hmm. And so we weren't not sure if we would have a good turnout, but we did. It was yeah, really maybe good. Maybe due to bigger bands like Behemoth and so on. Yeah, and so I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then thank you very oh, much, Stacy. It was a pleasure to thank talk you. to you. Thank you. Same to you. And I uh, wish you a great start of the, uh, great end of the tour. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Nice meeting you.